Java, classes and objects, storing objects in an array list. Okay, we're continuing on here with our segment here with classes and objects. And so what I'd like to show you here is how we can take our objects here, our person, okay, class, and we can create some people and store them in an array list. Okay, so that's our objective. Our objective is to store our people in an array list. So we're going to set up our array list here. So we're going to do array list. Now look what I've done right here. This is new here. I'm using the angle brackets behind this and I'm putting in person. So what I'm doing is I'm telling the computer, I'm telling the array list that the only thing I want in this array list are persons. Okay, so we're limiting what goes into this array list here by persons. Okay, I'm naming my array list, my AL, my array list. Let's go we're starting up here with new array list. Okay, now I'll show you what we've got going on here. I'm going to create four random people. Okay, and so the four random people are going to look like this. They're going to say Bob, one, Smith, one. Okay, that's what we're going to put in. And then the next time it goes through, it's going to say Bob, two, Smith, two. Okay, so that's our goal. Four random people. Can you actually do uh, system outs and say, uh, like, please enter a name and then please enter a last name and store those and drop those in? Yes, you can. Okay, but I want to demonstrate the concept here of putting these into an array list. So, within the for statement here, okay, we've got a counter going on. We're going to create four people. So here's my counter here. Now, this is what's important. Look here within the brace. Okay, so we're looking in with the brace. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put it, create a person. We're going to call them double X, new person. Okay, so there we've actually created a person. Okay, now we're going to take that person now. We have to give it some characteristics here. So we're going to give him his first name. So I'm just going to put Bob and I'm going to concatenate the counter onto it. Last name, giving his last name here. Okay, now look here. We're actually going to do here my array list dot add and here we're actually going to put the person into that array list okay so that's going into slot zero we're coming around back here we hit the brace we come back up here we're going to do all, all over again here person new double x new person okay we're going to put in we're going to use the thing here set the first name so we're putting putting in bob okay incrementing the counter on that putting in his last name and then once again look here we're adding using the dot add and adding that person so we're going to do this four times okay that's how we put people into our array we now have four people into our array list okay so you're saying now how do I get that person out okay so what we're going to do here is we're going to create another person we'll call him here Pete for people new person Okay, so what's going to happen is this. If I want to print these guys out, we're going to go four, here, set up my counters. Look here, here's my array dot size. So that's actually going to store the value of four. Okay, and then here's how we're going to increment by one. Now, what we're going to do here is we've created the person up here. So we're going to come up here to this person here. It's going to be equal to. Okay, dot get. Okay, so we're going to my array, get, and we're going to get the index. Okay, that's our first person. Okay, then we're going to print their name, system out. Peep dot get full name. So that's going to print out the full name. Okay, so once we've got the person out there, we're, we're basically taking the person out of the box, storing it to this variable right here. And then that way we can use the get full name. It hits the brace, takes us back up to here. Okay, so the increment goes up to uh, one. Okay, so now we're going to the second box. Okay, the second box, we're going to get that person out of there, store it in, in here. 
Okay, so the second person is now stored in that variable, and we can use now person.get full name and print it out. Okay, so once we so basically we're just going out referencing where it is in the array in the array list and storing that into a variable that can hold a person and then we can print out the various different aspects of that. So for instance here, just as a quick example here, so you can see it here. Once again, we see all of our different we saw all of our different functions there showing up there so uh, let me go ahead and pull it back up here again for us so there's all our functions okay so we can get the city we can get the full name get the state it's okay here's on that we get to re reset the values so all the functions that we set up in our class are available to us and that's how you pull people out of an array list. We can do it through a for statement, and we can also input them through a for statement. So, array list, specifying exactly what type of data we're going in here. Does it always have to be a person object? No. You know, we could have actually said here if we're storing numbers that, you know, specifying those have to be doubles or ints. Or for doing storing strings, that they can be strings. Okay. And here we were just randomly adding them. But just realize this we have to create the person, give them some data, and then store them into the array list. And then when we get uh, information out, Okay, we have to have some place to store them on the way out, so we're just here's a variable just to store that person one to pull them out. So we're basically going to that box, okay, going to the box and pulling that person out, get and storing it here. And once they're there, then we can use all the different methods and functions that we wrote to either get a name, set a name, or uh, do a function like calculate their income.